we have another nice bright sunny morning here in Winnipeg. We've been pretty lucky this winter. No blizzards. Snow, but not what you'd call a blizzard. Now, I've taken all the little pieces off of the uh, painting blocks. There's only 10 left. And I'm guessing we should be able to do that before noon. And then we should be starting on 39. Now, looking at 39 here a minute ago, we're, we're not going to be uh, uh, finishing it today. There's photo etch involved, painting involved. Uh, oh, here's another one of those uh, pieces like we did uh, uh, yesterday that had the little tiny antenna on it, only this one's much longer. Anyway, once again, enough talking. Well, let's get into it. So I'm sitting here enjoying my coffee right now and I'm looking at all these little parts and I'm trying to figure out how to place them down and, and I'm thinking it just doesn't look right. And then I realized that on step 38 the bow is to the right. Okay, we may as well start at the stern here and work our way towards the bow. And uh, these ones here, we uh, we did those yesterday. The next ones, next size up of almost the same thing as these ones here. And the, there's an overhang that goes on three sides. The back side doesn't have one. So, uh, well, I, I guess actually that would be facing the bow, so that'd be the front side. Anyway they go on like this. Now I was going to take our little safety wire off and then I thought uh, no wait a minute maybe it'll make for a, a steady rest as well as keep me from breaking these things off here. So let's just uh, do a dry run here. I'm, I'm pretty sure these things will fit and I don't think it matters which one you which one you put on Okay, now let's give it a whirl here. Yeah, that should work out all right. Should be able to do the other side as well. Okay, bonus. Now I know that I could put the glue on the little square positioning block that I'm exposing right there, but then I'm risking getting it, wicking its way all over the planking. So I'm just going to put it on the inside and even as it is, it's probably going to wick its way out into the deck. Now when that evaporates, we should hardly see it unless the light hits it just exactly right or as I've often said, exactly wrong. Oh, I lost my washer. You know, I, I don't know if I got enough on there. Does it look like it's uh, going to adhere? Oh yeah, well maybe I better put a little bit more on here. You know, I, I want enough so that it's going to uh, dissolve the uh, the plastic. Otherwise, first thing that catches on these things is going to yank it off. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got it that time. Okay, so now as long as we're over here on this side, they want another one of these little storage lockers on. Now this time I'm going to try and put a little bit less extra thin 
and so it won't stick to my tweezers. I think I'm just going to leave the camera over there on that side. It's more out of my way. And uh, we are, you might call, I guess, midships. And what they want us to do, and I just want to do a dry run here because I want to make sure it's going to fit. This goes on here. And as near as I can tell, it doesn't matter which way it goes around. Then, this little storage chest, if I can get a hold of it, okay, I do believe it's supposed to go right here. Now, somehow this doesn't look right. Oh, you know what? I've, I've got the wrong storage chest. Now I know people are probably going to think, Ron, you deliberately did that so that you could mug for the camera, but no, that was a that was an honest mistake. Yeah, that fits better. Okay, let's glue that on. Yep, too much again. That'll evaporate and you'll never see it. I'm noticing I got a little uh, bit of paint there from, I guess when I was, uh, maybe when I was painting these. No, I painted these before I stuck them on. Well, I don't know. Should I try to do anything about that or maybe just leave it as uh, weathering? I could easily put a little bit of deck tan on there and cover it up. Now a moment ago I was looking at this little box, you know, the one that we did the uh, panel line color on the screening. And I'm thinking, where does that go? So I checked the manual. Well, as you can see, we're back on the stern because it's supposed to go right here. I'm just going to do a dry run. This is the first time I've tried it. Yeah, that's going to go okay. Okay, let's get some uh, extra thin in that and...
Now this is the last of the eight G24s and it's pretty clear where it goes. And this little chest here, it drops down right there. So it's going to have to go in behind in there somewhere. I'll have to reposition so that we can uh, see it being glued down. Now I'm just sort of doing a dry run here and I realize that the lighting is not the best. I'm already pushing it at over 4000 ISO here. But at least you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I think that's going to work. Now I did put some extra thin on the bottom of those legs there. Oh, oh for goodness sakes. Okay, I know I didn't need to show that, but I did. Sometimes when I say it, that's the plan, well it doesn't always go as planned. So I've got some uh, CA medium here. Okay, here, there was ten pieces altogether. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So all ten pieces are on. And uh, that will be it for step 38. 39. Okay, this part here, it shouldn't be too difficult. It's, uh, it's got, looks like, uh, two pieces of photo etch go on it after, but we only make one of those. However, I was trying to figure out what's going on here. Now, it looks like when we make this part, this, this piece here will become this piece right here. Now, normally what they do is they've got a little arrow showing that, uh, that this is this, but there's, there's nothing there, but I don't know what else what else it could be. So they, they want us to make two of this. This all goes together, I do believe. And then as far as this, this goes, this must be some kind of a gun or a rocket launcher or, or something. I guess we'll know once we, once we get at it here. Uh, it's a little confusing. Let's get the uh, sprues out here. Now, now this piece we've already basically done. We know how that goes. But this is confusing. At least it is to me. Okay, so this, this goes here. And then we'll figure it out. Okay, I just saw what the problem is. I wasn't reading the part numbers. And if I had, if I would have known that this right here is photo etch. It's photo etch D51. So that will go on, on this part here after it's made. Um, yeah. Okay, so, and, and this just shows that somehow it has to be folded. Well, once again, I guess we'll figure it out. So, so this piece, once it's made, becomes this piece. 
But then where does it say make two? And this one says make four. Uh, I'm confused again. Okay, it was bothering me. I had to page ahead. And I figured out what's going on. Yes, we do make four of these. And this just shows us how to, how to put the photo etch on this part right here. We do make four like that. Two of them get used on this pedestal thing. And two of them, in step 44, will get mounted right on part of the deck. They don't have this thing. Okay, now it's making sense. Now I realize that I do not have a whole lot to show here for today. It's over five hours since I took my first sip of coffee, and the coffee's pretty much gone. Anyway, we're going to have to look for those little parts in tomorrow's episode. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.